Hi everyone, welcome to another video. This is my last unboxing video from Hobonichi 2024 lineup. Uh, so my last order has arrived uh, and thankfully for once uh, it actually arrived in this massive uh, box with the FedEx um, paperwork on there and uh, it actually included the um, Life and Books box inside this time so I don't have to get the uh, at least I have one box that hasn't got the FedEx um, massive paperwork plastic sleeve on it. You know what I mean. Anyway, um, and I actually, you can see that I cheated a little bit. I peeled this off because I want to keep it nice and neat so you didn't have to see that. Uh, but there were a few items that arrived in the bigger box. So let's start with that. Um, ooh. Okay, I actually, I ordered two of the uh, Hobonichi gift bags, one uh, large and one small one. Um, I might just open the small one to show you what it looks like. Sorry about all the plastic noise, but you know what it's like. Uh, so it's this uh, linen type of bag uh, with drawstrings. So you can actually pull these. That's really nice and you can make a pretty bow um, out of the strings once you put your items inside. I think these small ones are supposed to be for... The oh, hang on. <laughs> It actually has got a uh, little handle on there as well. So that's nice. Okay. Um, as I started to say, uh, these small ones are supposed to be for the A6 uh, sized items. And the larger ones are supposed to be for your cousins and uh, your typical A5 items. So let's slide that back in its plastic protection for now. Yes, I bought two of these. Um, the main reason being that I wanted free shipping. Uh, to Sweden you have to spend 2,270 Swedish kroner to uh, get free shipping. And I was so close, so I just thought I might just uh, splurge on these um, just to get that free shipping. Otherwise, I'd be paying 400 Swedish kroner just for the shipping, which is uh, not nowadays, but it used to be equivalent to maybe uh, 40 US dollars um, or 40 pounds, something like that. Uh, but it's a little less now, so I guess uh, between 30 and 40 uh, US dollars and British sterling pounds. Um, so I thought, why would I want to spend 400 Swedish kroner on shipping when I can um, get items for that amount of money and then get the free shipping? So that's that's my logic. <laughs> anyway, enough said of that. Um, this, I believe, would be the Hobonichi Techo 5-year leather cover. Yes, it is. Okay, and it arrives in this cute little box. That's very handy. Um, I bought the natural colour in the A6 size. So I'm guessing, if you watched my other videos, you know that something else related to this is in this box. Uh, but wow, this is the cover. And it's, I think it's gorgeous. I think this is like the undyed leather. So this will patina a lot with the leather, um, with the oils, sorry, um, from my hands. 
it will patina with the sun and exposure to to just uh, everyday lighting uh, that is so gorgeous and it's so smooth super lovely and it's got the five year uh, stamped on there as well and you got your pen loop and the two sides to uh, slide your planner in to or your five year journal in my case let's put this back for protection I am not going to use this until the time comes and you will know that it's a couple of months left and what do we do? <laughs> we have patience and we wait, right? <laughs> or maybe not all of you, but I'm trying. I'm trying my damnedest not to to use my uh, 2024 lineup yet. Um, anyway, so that is the cover. Now let's open this box up, and it's got the yearly quote on here a calendar is filled with numbers days that are past and days still to come it's funny of all of them the only one we are living is today the only day we can reach out and touch is today that's a lovely quote and i'm sure i will put that in one of my planners somewhere just to remember that yearly quote so this is it guys, this is my last order from Hobonichi for this year. Um, I'm going to lift it all out and we'll have a look together. Huh? I know what's inside there. Okay, so the box I put aside. Here we go, okay. So let's start with the accessories. So I bought the um, rivet band Lazio or Lazio uh, medium size in a classic and dark brown. Um, and I got the advice from some of you on YouTube to use the medium for my five year techo, um, and I think that will work perfectly. It's really stretchy as it should be, it's an elastic band, but you know, you don't really know until you see it. But I think that will be uh, big enough, so yeah, so that is the rivet band. Let me put that back for a little while longer. Okay, rivet bands. Um, I also got this um, drawer pouch uh, in a pocket size. Let me see. And isn't this the cutest thing? you have seen um, and I might actually this might be the only item that I will use starting now uh, it's got this wristband and inside you have space for anything that you would like any sort of format maybe I'll put some I don't know if I will use it for stationery, to be honest with you. Uh, my thought was to use this for maybe, you know, on the go in my bag. So maybe um, medication, uh, lipstick, maybe a membership card or credit card if I don't want to carry my, uh, my wallet with me. So that is the drawer pouch um, I believe this is called delivering flowers by Tochi Yuki I think Tochi Yuki Flukura or something like that 
I'm sorry about the pronunciation guys uh, anyway so that is the back with the flowers Kuchiyuki Fukuda okay that's it um, and little otter on there and the uh, hen and flowers on a little boat that's so pretty um, I wanted a bigger size as well. Oh, it's got a back pocket here. I forgot to tell you that as well. Um, I wanted a bigger size as well, but it was sold out. And I thought I'd rather have uh, only the small one um, uh, than nothing at all. Because I really like this particular motive. I'm not sure if I'll get that on there. But hey, I'm going to use this anyway, so... I'll leave that out actually. So that's that. Um, I also got the. Hang on a minute. You've seen this one before. That's the uh, photo album. And I've got the um, card case as well. I haven't shown you this. So let's take that out of its wrapper for a minute. So this actually got tiny lots for maybe you know business cards or smaller sticky sheets um, I was thinking I might use them for all the sticker shops that I order from because they normally send out their business cards along with uh, maybe a sampler kit uh, in this size so yeah that's what I'm going to use that for and you know your particular photo album that I've shown you before you've got your full size pockets that you can put sticky sheets in or that's my intention at least um, I know some of you use this as um, you know keeping photos in that you have printed already that you want to use in your um, memory book or um, your daily journal in so yes I've got one more of these so now I have three of these and one card case so that's that I thought why not if I need to get up to that amount of money I might as well um, I think I will use them a lot and I don't want them to rip so uh, next thing is the uh, double Sticker, what's it called? The double stick tape. And it's tiny. If you compare that with my hand, and my hand is not a big hand. <laughs> it's a tiny sheet. But I was excited to see uh, how many were in there. Because it didn't actually show you on the website. One, two, three four five six i believe there's six in here is it or have they doubled up no i think it's six in here and they're cut to two different sizes so you have two no you have three long ones that's the full length ones and you got three of the half size ones so that's very handy and it's created to fit in your card slot pockets in your maybe uh, planner covers and things like that or in the back pocket of your uh, you know your sticky pockets so that's really handy uh, I got two Hobonichi stencils one basic and one activities um, I have the basic from before and what I love about this is you have your list uh, stencil in there and you've got your star ratings and your numbers and you can use these. I think these are um, used for the spacing for the actual grids which is really helpful and you've got your centimeters on this length. Uh, same on this stencil, but these uh, are activities rather than your um, 
list dots and things like that. So you have your weather, you have your activities, uh, like running, walking, uh, you have traveling, uh, stencils, uh, music, drinking, eating. Um, yeah, I just think they're cute and they also go very well in your uh, cover pockets, I find. I have Motem covers, as you might know, and they fit perfectly in the card slots in those covers. So that's that. Um, no surprise what's next. I got the um, memo pads for um, A6 size, so the A6 original size. Um, and these are also very handy to use in your as an add-on to your planner. I believe they are a tiny bit smaller than your um, uh, Techo originals, just so that they can fit inside of those covers as well. So on the back of your planners, really handy. Uh, they are grid pages and they are not colored pages, which I like. Uh, if you've seen the um, Hobonichi notebooks, you know that they have six um, different colors in their grids. And I am really trying to avoid that. I think that would be a bit annoying to me. So... I just went with the memo pads instead. So that's the A6. And pencil boards, as per usual. Um, if you remember from my last video, I got the weeks uh, in the Hiroko Kobota uh, line. And these are the A6 and the A5 size. Um, and these are just super cute as well. Let me show you what they look like. And if you enjoy these um, themes, uh, you should really go and follow um, Hiroko Kubota on, uh, on Instagram. They post all of their... Um, um, art on on Instagram, which is great. You get to see a lot. Uh, so you got the starry sky and the um, ruler on this side, and a little bear with sort of um not a rainbow, but you know uh, I can't think of of its name, but it's really pretty. That's lovely. That's the A six. And we got the A5. Hang on. <laughs> I don't want to rip these too much because I want to be able to put them back. Um, there we go. So that's the fox on the telephone box. Looking out over the city with the crescent moon. And just a city from above, I guess. And your ruler. Really lovely. So that will go in my cousin for next year, I think. Okay, so for the bigger stuff, or the Let's start with this one. Okay. Maybe they wrapped them all together, I don't know. Oh, yeah, they have. Okay, so I have ordered. Oh yeah, okay, so they stuffed it in there. I was wondering what that was. Um, I also bought this. Um, let me just open it. Um, this weekly calendar 
for um, 2024 because your A6s, they, um, they don't have the weekly view. So I just thought, I don't really know what I'm going to use all of these for yet. I have an idea, but if not, I can always have a fallback plan um, to use the weeklies. So in this one, you got your yearly overview for 2024. You got your weekly setup. And I don't think there's anything in the back. There's a couple of um, spare pages on there. Three spare pages, is it? Three, four, five spare pages. Um, and this runs from January to January the 5th, 2025. Really handy and it's tiny, as you can see. So that's that. But what I ordered to go along with this weekly calendar, if I want to, uh, is either the Hobonichi Techo uh, 2024 original ABEC or the Hobonichi Tetsuo 2024 day 3 and I haven't actually seen these in person before so this will be interesting again trying not to rip these completely and here you got your life is present folder again as you may have seen a lot of times in these unwrapping videos, I'm not going to go through them again. Um, anyway, and this is the Hobonichi Techo Original AVEC. So you have January through to June and July through to December. And they are just a perfect size, guys. If you want to carry this with you or um, if you like me, know what you want to use the beginning of the year for but not completely sure about what to do with the second half of the year um, it's just perfect because if you need to change it up completely do something completely different with the, the other half of the year you can do that and you can get a fresh beginning uh, instead of you know having to convert what you already have into something new so as you know, uh, in the AVEX, uh, it comes with the year at a glance. Uh, you have your previous year, so this year, 2023. And uh, well, now it's two years ahead, but it will be one year ahead starting January. So you have 2025. You have your monthly daily overview where you can I will use this as an index I always do um, you have your monthly setup and your daily pages that are dated and it comes in the same uh, color arrangement as the cousin and the full size original same for this one of course Actually, I'm not quite sure. Yeah, you have your pages in the back as well. Uh, this is the Japanese version. So you have your My 100, you have your graph paper, your favorites, a timetable. Um, and then I think there are some... This is an interview. I know that from my English versions. Uh, this is an interview with myself. And I might just copy those questions from my English uh, planners uh, so I can actually utilize these two pages. Um, some recipes of, I believe, Japanese delicacies. Uh, I think this is about how to read and how to use your eyes, maybe. Um, and there's some other pages. And, uh, Unfortunately, I don't speak Japanese. I would love to, um, but as a um, Swedish person, um, it might be a 
tiny bit difficult. <laughs> uh, but I might get there one day, who knows? Or maybe I'll use Google Translate to just put uh, some other pages in here to, to understand. You have your gift page as well. Uh, and your addresses and your personal information page. So that's it. And the same goes for the other half of the year, of course. So that's the Avec in an A6 size. And I also have the Day 3 in an A6. And it looks pretty much the same, I think. Apart from the Day 3 doesn't have dated daily pages. It actually has blank pages like this. So there are no dates, only the page number. Uh, you have your quotes in Japanese. Uh, you have your monthly pages. And you have your um, info pages. Same as in the other planners. And the same pages in the back. Um, so yeah. And I think this is really cute and it's more versatile if you don't really know exactly what to do or if you don't journal every day. This might take the pressure off a bit. Um, and as I said, the weekly calendar insert is quite handy if you find later on that you might want to use it. You can always just either backtrack or use it from where you are uh, in the year. So that's those two. Um, and, oh, I should put this back before I forget as well. In the back. And last but definitely not least, <laughs> I think you've all guessed what this is. This is the five year pet show and this range from 2024 to 2028 and I just thought this year that I might like this especially because in 2028 is the year when I will turn 40 <laughs> so you can work that out for yourselves uh, but I just thought that would be really interesting to capture the five years going from mid 30s to 40 uh, to see how my life changes uh, I don't have children or anything like that so I'm not going to track anyone's development or you know uh, uh, it's just my own but that's enough so it comes in this really pretty box as well I love the boxes I think all the planners should come in boxes but that wouldn't be very uh, environmental friendly I think but anyway uh, it comes with this uh, guide and although it's in Japanese you can definitely tell that it's trying to show you how to use the pages, what they can look like. Uh, I might actually use Google Translate for this um, just to see what advice they have. But I already know I think how to set this up. Um, it also comes with this spare sheet where you can actually plan your, um, well, one day um, just to see like what do you want the layout to look like. Uh, so you have one box for each year and you have your blank page. I will show you in this one as well. Uh, but that's really handy, I think. I wish there were a few more though. So if you mess this one up, you can try and try again. But I am a girl who likes to draw things out anyway, so I might use a regular paper and just put this underneath to, um, as a stencil um, to work my way through it. So I don't want to mess this gorgeous thing up. Not yet, anyway. Um, I guess it won't be pristine at the end of 2028. But um, I want to be clear on how I want to set this up. So 
it's in Japanese, uh, doesn't matter to me, you have your, your days and your month. So it's oh, the other way around, so your month and your days, sorry, <laughs> messed that up. Uh, anyway, so you have this layout and I've seen one of the people that I follow on YouTube, uh, James, he is this amazing artist and he makes uh, art on this side and journals on the, this side but I am not that good at art at all so I might actually use this to uh, I've seen another person I'm gonna link her down below if I can find out who she was uh, I, and I actually believe she was Swedish <laughs> um, but I've seen another user um, put previous years so let's say that you have uh, you have your first of January uh, on the first page and you can write from 2024 down to 2028 but what did you do your previous years if you can remember or if you have diaries from before it might be quite fun to note down like in 2015 I did this or in uh, 2008 I did this just to compare with the previous years even though it's not in the five year range um, so I might do that actually that's quite nice um, so yeah so that is the five year TED show that is all of my orders do I put this on? Maybe I do. I'll do that later. Anyway, uh, that's all that I ordered, but I'm sure you stayed on this long to see what I got in my gift bags. Uh, but first off, you know this already, you get um, a pen, a multi-pen from uh, uh, Uni Jetstream. Uh, it's a 0.5 nib in black, blue, red and it's just a really good pen. And I think you get these with the, um, is it with the day free and the Avec? I think, I don't think you get a pen with the Fire Tetcho, but you get uh, a surprise gift bag with the Techo and with the Avec, but not with the Days. So that's why I've got two bags here. Um, my previous one, because um, I didn't receive one in my last order, but my first order, I received one of these. And it was the yellow How Are You Today bag. And I must say, out of the four that we can expect, uh, the yellow one was my least favorite <laughs> uh, so i'm really fingers crossed hoping that this isn't a yellow i will take any other but not the yellow so please come on bring me something else uh, let's open it oh. you see what i see <laughs> yay Oh, I love these. These are so cute. It's the snack o'clock pretzel. This makes me a lot more happy than the yellow one. <laughs> uh, and I will try and find a use for these. Um, as I've shown you before, maybe you can put your pens in there. Or maybe you should put um, uh, some cardboard um, in the bottom just to make it stand up a bit. But, oh, I'm so happy. At least I got one that isn't the yellow. So let's hope that this is something else or at least not the yellow. <laughs> let's open it. Oh, okay. All right, well, hmm. I mean, I love these, so I'm not, you know, um, I'm not disappointed, but... I just wish because I've seen a lot of you get the same two bags or actually some people even get three of the same 
and in the same order. And I really wish that, I know that, that this is a free gift and it's very thoughtful and kind of Hobonichi to do this for us. Um, but I just wish that in the same in the same order it shouldn't be two of the same but as i said i'd rather have two of these a million times around than two of the yellow one um i might actually give the yellow one away or maybe see if uh, any of you want to swap for another one um yeah okay so that wasn't too shabby i i still i love these and i would have preferred the rice ball as well um that was one that i really wished for but as do many of you i understand um and the day is really nice too but oh it's something with the yellow one it's just uh it's too bright for me i think um it's like overstimulating to my senses uh, anyway so that is the wrap up so don't forget these but i'll put them here that's all you guys that's a lot but it's all and i will film a complete 2024 lineup video with all three of my orders just to give you an overview and we can talk a bit about um how i'm gonna use them and you know just a big haul if that sounds good to you please comment down below uh, like this video and please subscribe to my channel if you're new and it was lovely being here for this long with you i'm sure you're tired of me now so i'm gonna let you go and I'll see you in my next video. Take care, everyone. Bye.